because whenever you are changing languages you are not able to actually implement correct syntax in one go i was knowing that on this page this is the article that i have written logic that i have written how to solve a problem particularly how to identify a problem the most important part is the third part where you think about the logic Hi guys, welcome to Coding Ninja's YouTube channel. And in this video, I'm going to discuss about the five mistakes that I have made while learning the DSA, and I still regret them because it took me another iteration, we can say, to again revise some of the important concepts which I could have taken notes or done multiple things and could have saved time. So that's about it, and we are going to discuss five things. So before moving ahead, let me tell you about the Coding Ninjas YouTube channel. We bring a lot of new videos, technical, journal, shorts, and live sessions. So do check out these videos every day, and do subscribe to the Coding Ninjas YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon so that you get notified for every new video. So let's get started with five mistakes that I made. Our number one is I was hardworking in second year, okay, but I didn't had any direction. So I would like to tell you. That this is one of the main mistake and it cost me a lot of time like couple of months at, at least because after having a call with my friend and then realizing okay what are the things in data structures and algorithm I should particularly target off so what happened actually so earlier I would tell you about the situation that happened with me so the situation was like that I was I wanted I was curious very much to learn the data structures and algorithm but I didn't know which are the topics and today people are aware of these things like recursion backtracking dynamic programming I didn't had any idea I just knew that I know loops I know array I know C++ basic syntax and I just started with hacker rank so what I did I just started with hacker rank without learning anything I just saw the question problem statement and tried to implement solution using whatever knowledge I had at that time what happened when I started with this and then saw some of the editorials or solutions afterward I was not able to understand the problem and I thought this is of advanced level the main DSA is about this so being like introvert I would say and then just solving hacker rank blindly is not the key okay hard work is good but in data structures and algorithms smart work is also required so this is one of the mistake that I was um, pretty much regretting today also it could have saved my two to three months at least because after that I took a course actually and then realized okay these are the topics of data structures and algorithm I need to study these topics and allocate these questions to each of them so how I was able to get out of the situation is with the help of a call with my friend so what happened he told me about this uh, courses by coding ninjas and what are the data structures and algorithm he's trying to solve and afterwards that I realized that I also require a course so I bought the course I got like structured manner of the topics First of all, starting with basic knowledge and then going ahead and everything. So what happened with a structured manner, I was able to prepare and learn practice problems easily. So practicing and learning, practicing and learning problems become not easy even, I would say productive. So my hard work was giving me much benefit now. So this is the thing that you should be always having in mind that structure is always to be followed okay whichever thing you are doing be it like your data structures and be it anything apart from that you should be able to have a structure in it secondly the point is not being consistent or be consistent in my um, data structures and algorithm learning path what happened the th moment whenever I started some of the topics after 10 days I was more inclined towards development side I started with machine learning and web development and I missed the consistency part with the data structures and algorithm and today now if somebody asks me how to be consistent I say at least solve a couple of problems daily because whenever you are in touch you are having logical mindset you are not afraid of uh, forgetting some of the syntax because whenever you are changing languages you are not able to actually implement correct syntax in one go so that is one of the major problems so how to be consistent solving two to three problems at least daily being revision wise being new problems from any of the guided paths and many things okay so like guided path let me tell you about this so in the coding ninjas there is a platform known as code studio and it is a platform that provides free online code editor and compiler in various languages like python java c plus plus 
and it is the best platform to prepare for your upcoming coding interviews also it contains top interview questions their solutions and guided paths to various topics of data structures and algorithm so you can actually go through it and like solve a couple of the problems of favorite topics and anything and that is very much helpful in being consistent even if you are working on some other projects and anything else okay so it's just like in a week you should be doing at least 6 days like if there is an emergency then only take a break from this okay so next is not making notes so not making notes and was not able to revise properly the topics of data structures and algorithm and the thing that actually hold me in this situation was whenever i have to revise some of the topic let us start with dynamic programming after a couple of days or couple of weeks after starting the course i started with dynamic programming again i started with reading the articles of dynamic programming on geeks for geeks but i didn't made any notes i was just able to understand the topic one day i was able to implement the topic and then move forward to the other topics like graph or types so after 2 months i realized i forgot the basics the basic concept of identification and dynamic programming problem and i was struggling to actually thought of a good logic to solve a new problem so what happened if you're not having any notes so not making notes was one of the biggest mistake that i am going to tell you like you should always make notes you should always have a day particularly fixed in a week like for me it was monday and i used to stop doing any everything new and i just revised my notes my questions that i was not able to solve properly in last week and everything so having notes and using revision weekly helped me a lot like what was the currently scenario was after a couple of weeks i was able to actually like make things out of the notes i was knowing that on this page this is the article that i have written logic that i have written how to solve a problem particularly how to identify a problem recursively and everything second is vast availability of resources so there is vast availability of resources and what is the scenario right now here is whenever you see a resource okay whenever you see a availability from a particular youtube channel or courses available online you tend to start it but what happen is after completing in the midway i was i was having this problem like i'm not able to solve some of the questions i saw there is some another resource i started it i'm able to solve that resource so what happen is i'm solving this easy part of the resources and i'm not able to complete a particular resource which actually degraded my quality of data structures and algorithm for couple of weeks initially then i realized that how important it is to actually just pick a particular resource that you are confident and it is reliable like there are multiple resources available secondly it should be very well structured like in coding ninjas we have a good structured courses available on data structures and algorithm and they have live support also so it is really reliable and next moving ahead i was able to like strongly having commitment that i will always uh, start with the resource and end it also so this is the fourth mistake that i actually made while having a vast availability of resources i should be able to judge that this resource is properly structured if i am able to complete this resource i am confident enough that i am having a good grasp on data structures and algorithm all right and last but not the least like many mistakes i have made but yeah giving uh, contest like in early days i was pretty regular but after starting with data structures and algorithm i was not regular to give the contest and this is one of the major reasons i was not able to time my proper sitting i was not able to concentrate on a particular problem and whenever there were online assessment rounds i was always feeling initially the lag that i had in thinking the logic and then implementing it but why let me tell you about there are three things you read a problem statement you think about the logic and then you implement it the most important part is the third part where you think about the logic you should minimize the part of first whenever you are uh, reading the problem statement you should quickly able to judge what the problem is asking from you and you are quickly able to implement your logic also it helps you to make a fast coder actually so in online assessment round or coding contest what happen is you have learned the data structure and algorithm but now you need to become a fast coder and hence you need to properly move ahead and you need to solve the contest 
So you should be able to give weekly contests available on various platforms, including Code Studio by Coding Ninjas, including uh, Lead Code weekly contest and bi weekly contest. You could start with Code Forces round also, but they, those are particularly for uh, CP. So if you are properly for data structures and algorithm, you can go for Lead Code or Code Studio. So these are the couple of platforms where you can actually go and then start with the contest. So these are all about the mistakes that I have made in my learning path of data structures and algorithm. And I am pretty happy now, to be honest, that I am able to recognize these mistakes and I was able to remove these mistakes from my learning path. Yet there were some of the other mistakes also, but these are the main five mistakes that I would recommend none person. Like if you are even starting with data structures and algorithm, just ask one of your seniors or to comment down in the video below if you have any doubts. So what would happen? It will make a clear mindset before starting or even if you are in between. That's it. So this is all about this video. If you like this video, do like, share and comment on this video. If you have any doubts, do also comment them. Subscribe to the Coding Ninjas YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified for every new video. This is all about this video. Meet you in the new video. Bye-bye.